Well, welcome back to the top of the tower in Trinity English for another edition of The View from here. Today, we're fortunate to be up here with Ben Wall. Ben is the, among other things here in Fort Wayne, Ben is the president of the West Central Neighborhood, which is our neighbor. Ben, thanks for coming up, making the trip up with me today. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. It's an amazing view up here at a very beautiful church. Yeah. You know, we like, you know, you come up here, we can see into your neighborhood. I mean, the, our West Central neighbors, it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, I think we don't always think of ourselves as West Central, at least here at Trinity, but we're right at the, the edge of the neighborhood. And I think technically we are part of the neighborhood. You are. The boundaries of the neighborhood go from Sweeney Park all the way down to Calhoun Street. Okay, so we are. So we are. And Main Street would be our north border, and Taylor Street is our southern border. Okay. So we have over 2,500 households wow. in the West Central neighborhood, in addition to churches and buildings, and part of the downtown business district is also within those West Central boundaries. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I, I think I said to you when you were standing up here that I've lived here in Fort Wayne about six, six and a half years, and even, and I, and I live out southwest, so I drive fighting blight and loss of houses and trying to keep housing stock because you need houses to have neighbors with right, no houses right. right you have no neighbor <laughs> and nobody nobody lives on the grass <laughs> <laughs> right so we fought that and then all of a sudden the, the downtown's improving everything's becoming more urban and we saw an opportunity for growth and to really capitalize on the change for our neighborhood to make our neighborhood friendlier and cleaner and brighter and more welcoming and more suitable for families. And the board has changed a lot. And I sent a thank you note out to our board last week. They just said, thank you for all the hard work that everyone's doing. It's important. And now as a result of that, you know, we have a very good relationship with the city. We have neighborhoods we're talking to. And I think that all had to happen. City relationship, important stakeholder. That had to happen very well for us. Uh, the city's presenting at our next association meeting about a development project that we're excited about. It was just to see the further development of the Jefferson, kind of that West Jefferson and West yep. Washington. Yep. It's a bit of a racetrack today. Yeah. Uh, yes. To yes, make it, it more neighborhood and to calm the traffic a little bit. But that's happening. And then just an opportunity to connect with our churches and other entities. I think for all stakeholders in the neighborhood. Yeah, I mean, one of the things we say here is that whatever is good for downtown Fort Wayne is good for Trinity. Yeah, whatever is good for the center of the city is good for this place because it's our neighborhood. Right? I mean, you, know, you know, what's good for you all is good for us in that sense because it makes it a better place to be. Like being here. So, what, a, what a, you know, from a housing standpoint, we saw property values rise. And then when Electric Works was announced, we saw more private investment happen closer to that Electric Works. And I think Electric Works is definitely an accelerator sure. for the West Central neighborhood and for downtown. Sure. sure. Uh, we couldn't be more excited to see that project come to fruition. And we think it's going to be a destination project uh, and a place where folks will come. They'll want to eat, they'll want to play, they'll want to live yep. and work. Um, I think it's a great mixed use. Yeah. Well, you know, we're, we're excited about it. I mean, we can see it right over there. That is, believe it or not, that's a half a mile away from here. That's, a, that's within a half mile radius. And as is most of the neighborhood of West Central, it's, it's a half a mile uh, walk. You know, you can walk there in 15 minutes, depending on how the traffic is flowing across the street. So, yes, we're excited about that and what that means and the people that it brings down into the downtown area. The next big development is Lutheran Hospital. I mean, as we look toward at Lutheran Hospital, and they move that, basically building a new hospital, but yeah. in a sense, moving the facilities a block, just to the, across the street a block over, yeah. that will also have a positive impact on the neighborhood. 
there is a large home and we can see if I had a little laser pointer but if you see the hospital and then you see the next building over is the old nurses dorm which is a right. historic building right and then if you look just past that is the old funeral home and so we are going to develop that funeral home. We purchased it. It's really? been empty for 26 years. And our plans is to invest over a million dollars. Now I'm speaking on the business side, yeah. not the neighborhood yeah. side, yeah. Yeah. but yet yeah. that's part of neighborhood development right. where right. the market has come up to the point where you could afford to spend a million dollars on amazing. a building that's amazing. and have people live there. It's no, it will no longer be vacant. That's amazing. That's an amazing thing. Well, you know, we got a funeral home right across from us that, uh, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with it yet. We've, we've even kicked around some thoughts about, should we buy it? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the same kind of thing. Can, it, can you afford to renovate it? And obviously it's making sense to do that. It, absolutely it has. Uh, that funeral home is gorgeous inside. It is. The neighborhood held our home and garden pre-tour party there, year after year after year. Really? Which I always thought was a pretty surprising place to have a pre-tour <laughs> party for a, for a home and garden show. But yeah, it was so beautiful. Yeah, it's a lovely place. Yeah, it was so beautiful. Yeah. Well, Claims, actually, Claims have been members at Trinity for as long as that funeral home has been there, so that we have a connection to that, that whole family and that, you know, that place. So, What challenges do you, do you anticipate as, you know, we're looking forward, uh, what challenges does a neighborhood in a growing transforming urban community have. But one challenge is to answer the question, who are we now? And we hired uh, a consultant and did a branding workshop last year, then did a neighborhood survey, and we now have a new logo to answer that question, who are we? And then who are we as far as where are the boundaries? So we are working with the city in a grant program to put signs throughout the neighborhood to identify if you're in West Central. And you will see a West Central logo on a signpost. So that we have an infrastructure challenge with our brick streets and alleys. They haven't kept up because you once you establish those, they last for a hundred years. Pavement's cheaper, concrete's cheaper. But yet when you do that, it lasts much longer than any other. So that's okay. one challenge we have. Uh, the next challenge is how do you bring more amenities to the neighborhood? And so we have started a Moody Park Development Fund. And Moody Park is within the West Central Boundaries and it's just south of Jefferson near College. Okay. Uh, and we are been talking to the Parks Department about how do we help fund, maybe share funds, but how do we develop a, a nicer pavilion with restrooms? make it a little more of a destination park than just a neighborhood park mm -hmm. uh, power so you could have events there you could plug in sure. and have the bouncy thing for the kids and do those types of things so we're really heavily looking at infrastructure and then all with that comes this term that we talk a lot about now called gentrification yes I was gonna ask about that yeah. so prices yeah. keep rising uh, maybe you've had crime and the crime drops because certain people have left the neighborhood so that's a good thing. Uh, the, but then you see good people that can't afford to live there. And my favorite story is about Bill. And Bill was renting, lived in the neighborhood, and the you know that house is now becoming a single family home. And that's all market driven. But Bill couldn't find a place to rent at the amount that he could afford. And yeah. he would go and say, do you have a place? Because I can only afford this much. Do you have a place? Do you have a place? And market rate is double or triple that. And yeah. so Bill has left the neighborhood. Super nice guy, Yeah. but he's left the neighborhood. And so we do have some folks that are on a, on a fixed income. They're not looking to sell their home and property taxes keep rising. Right. right. Uh, and so that's a challenge. And so it's something that we are paying attention to and looking hard at is how do you balance? Now, you know, we went from fighting home demolitions to capitalizing on growth. Now, yeah. how do you come back?
really early into that part of it, but that's where we are today. Sure. Is we look for how do we keep, how do we help residents that want to be in the neighborhood and can only afford so much? What's the right path there? What's the right solution? Sure. Sure. Yeah, and you know, and those are problems that every urban community, as it redevelops, wrestles with. Yeah, you know, how do we, you know, the people who used to live here, the good people who used to live here, and then things change, and then they're gone. You know, and you know, and that, yeah. you know, equity, what's fair, but yet somebody who owns a piece of property, you know, to be able to realize gain, economic gain from it. Yeah, it's it's just a crazy hard, hard challenge. You know, our bus you know, our business is church, right? Uh, uh, but. You may or may not be aware one of the we try to ask the question not just how to put a butt in the pew on a sunday morning and a dollar in the offering plate but we're constantly asking the question how do we be a neighbor to the city you know mm -hmm. how do we be a neighbor to west central but also somewhat on the terms of the people of west central without deigning to say you know this is what, how you should interact with us. This is what we're about. You know, if you don't come on Sunday morning, we're gonna have anything to do to you. So, you know, we do all these projects of opening the church, letting people come, letting people come somewhat on their terms, just kind of be in a space, like a park, be a neighborhood. Um, as you live down here, what do you imagine a church could be for this neighborhood? I think that's a great question. Um, you know, we have, as we've been working through our transition, we've been really focused on what who our main stakeholders were, which is really city entities, regulatory bodies. Now that we're, now that I feel like we've got a great relationship there with the city, now we're starting to look, if you will, at the second tier. And I think churches are absolutely part of that. Yeah. And so, you know, if I would selfishly say, what is the neighborhood? ways to interact with the neighborhood with say volunteer and you right. may say the same thing for the church yeah. maybe there's volunteer members in that so that could be a four way for yeah. you to start a relationship there with those different opportunities yeah we you know we would be interested in that uh, again we, we think of this as our neighborhood you know we think of the city as our neighborhood uh, um you have a home and garden tour we have a garden right down there uh and we have a gardener who who's out there every day you know, we'd like to we like to offer that up as a gift to the city that you know people can come during the week. We open the church and allow people during the week to just come in and volunteers just sit there to greet people. Yeah. Not to not to pitch them come to church on Sunday, but to say welcome to this space. Uh, yeah. Yesterday we were up here with Amy Hartzog in the city. Oh yeah, with and, uh, uh, public works. Yeah, with public yeah. works, and we were talking about you know open streets and stuff like that. And we said you know. And we can imagine even partnering with West Central. What if we closed off Wayne, you know, this portion of Wayne Street and had a party out here? Mm -hmm. We'd be interested in sponsoring that kind of stuff and inviting the neighborhood. Well, I think Open Streets is such a great event. Oh my gosh, it's a great time. And we participated each year. And last year we had the goal to create the first ever bike corral, which is a small yeah. parking lot, but on the street, not on yeah. a sidewalk. Yeah. We actually took up street space and we were able to establish that. Uh, we're pretty proud of that and people are using it. We're I know, it's a great thing. Locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I know we're sponsoring a bit of a bike corral and a bike decoration oh. spot. You know, so if you want to be in the parade, you can come and get your bike decorated and be in the parade. So. I, I believe the importance to have a neighborhood downtown is to have folks that are close to where things are happening they are have a great relationship with each other so there's a community there's a family there's security that comes along now uh, sure. if you and i were neighbors and you had a porch party and we all came over and had something to drink and something to eat and i became a friend yeah yeah uh, maybe you gave me a tour of your home and we talked about old house stuff or new house stuff because we now have some new builds happening but that creates this community where i know if i needed help or if I'm unloading right. something or and, right. you, and you come out of your house, 
Yeah. And you're going to, hey, let me give you a hand with that for yeah. a few minutes. Yeah. That really helps build that community and it strengthens downtown because now downtown has traffic. They have people that come in because we're right here. There's bike lanes, we can bicycle, we can walk. You mentioned within 15 minutes walk. It's a short walk. You can walk and you know, drive your car, there's parking. But now you have this interaction and the city's invested so much in downtown. They need people to attend. Yeah. You know, the free concerts at the library. Yeah. And there's a group that yeah. will walk from West Central because we have a little Facebook page and like, hey, we're walking down to the concert. <laughs> Honey. And there'll be this little group, it may be 10 or 20 people. But yet that's 10 or 20 people you wouldn't have right. if the neighborhood didn't exist. Right. I think it all really works together. You know, and the city has taken a little bit of the build it and they will come philosophy, you know, with the ballpark, mm -hmm. which was great. Uh, very controversial start, but it's really proven to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the more people we have in the neighborhood, the more the neighborhood's healthy, the, and it's a trusting neighborhood, they're gonna come down and interact downtown. They'll support the shops yeah. and the restaurants right. and, and the different entities here. Uh, and your church being one of those important ones. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me today. Absolutely, absolutely enjoyed it. Yeah, Ben, it's great to be up here with you, to count you as our friend, our neighbor, uh, our colleague, and the work that happens downtown. So, thanks for being with us up at the top of the tower at Trinity for another part of the view from here.